Hey friends, today I'm going to show you a little teardown on this chainsaw. I've been having some running issues with it. I think I may either have a crankcase leak or a carburetor issue. I'll show you how you check all that. You check the crankcase leak with a uh, vacuum gauge. A two stroke is critical that you have pressure in your crankcase. Because if it's not enough pressure with a leak and crank seal, it'll run lean or it won't start at all. So, a lot of people think they have a carburetor issue, but a lot of times it's a crankcase leak. So it's pretty simple to get apart. Part a few times. It's actually a pretty decent saw. Bet you in its life, there's probably 25 gallons of fuel run through it. said I fixed about anything. Small engines, chainsaws, cars, play guitar. Here's that one. Like I said, two strokes are finicky. If you don't have the right crankcase pressure, they won't run right. They won't suck the gas in. said real easy to work on one of these Poland's for craftsmen. Off. 
Okay, the impulse line's right under here. See that in there? This one looks pretty good. It's the intake side. I'm gonna get to the exhaust side. It's too hard to get off. Of. Lighting folks. Okay. There's the exhaust. Now I get the vacuum gauge hooked up. What you want to do is you want to make sure. You leave your spark plug in. You want to plug up your exhaust port and your intake port. For me, I'm just going to use my fingers. Should hold five times of vacuum for about ten seconds. Gauge shouldn't move. Said I cut an unknown number of cords of wood with this thing. Been a good saw. As they say, sometimes the train has to come in for, for a rest every once in a while. Okay. seen in my video it wasn't running right it should have had more power and it just died on me see. see if I can do it one yeah might be able to do it one hand hmm. you see Folks, see the gauge? That's a possibility of a uh, crank seal leak. Let's see if I get this little insulator out of here. Yep, Paul, crank seal leak. Pumps. It shouldn't do that. If you pump it, it should just stay right up. Let's see if possibly this insulator. Because I did check the crank seals on this a few years ago when I rebuilt it. So 
layers out. Just this little piece I took out, if you can see that. Because what had happened last year, I had a bad run of gas. And, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, there it is. Was that insulator? It's kind of 10 seconds. Okay. Should hold. See what I was doing there? See this intake port right here? I was holding this with my finger. I was holding, I was blocking this off of my finger. The idea is to have a airtight uh, crankcase because you can't test it with these open. Okay, you could use that little vacuum gauge right there on your impulse line. You just tested this, it's your impulse line right there. You can see it. There's your impulse line. Well, it appears that the crankcase is good. It appears we may have a carburetor issue. I have an extra kit and the carburetor. This thing should be running good as new. We had a bad run of gas last year and uh, kind of screwed it up. So. Good thing to know that to check your uh, crank, crank, crankcase vacuum. So once you do that, you know your seals here and here are good, and your crankcase base gasket's good. Okay, guys. Till next time. Remember, rock out with your cock out.